My name is not Sven, it is Martin, yeah. Welcome to This Week in Sweden, where we look back at the seven news stories that shaped a life for us here in Sweden, starting with Monday. A video released by a Swedish newspaper shows a police car taking part in a street race, which is not legal. They're not looking into the cause of this and what might be behind this, as the police said, I only see two cars going off together. Tuesday, a lost elk found itself into central Gothenburg, Sweden's second biggest city, wandering around the central parts of it into parks and swimming in canals. Police and rescue tried to get the elk out of there, but they failed and had to put it down. Wednesday, our former prime minister, but currently foreign minister called Bildt, has been awarded most well-connected foreign minister in the world. He's been a constant user of Twitter, and uh, one of my favorite tweets of his is this one. Thursday. Swedish high schools will be holding mock EU elections next year ahead of the double election year where we have EU elections in the spring and the parliament elections in September. This only happens every 20 years since the EU elections are five years apart and our parliament elections are four years apart. Reports are showing that gay women are more likely to get married in Sweden than gay men. The only exception is Stockholm County. Our Minister for European Union Affairs, Birgitta Ulsson, was in Vilnius, the capital of Lithuania, to speak at the gay parade. The parade was interrupted by neo-Nazis and religious fundamentals who think that everybody should not have equal rights and everybody should be as stupid and as small-minded as them. Sunday, let's take it to the field! <laughs> Germany wins the UEFA Women's Euro 2013 right here in Sweden, Friends Arena. 1-0 over Norway after Norway missing two penalties and the referees suck. But they won 1-0 against Norway. And that was another episode of This Week in Sweden. If you liked the video, you can like it. If you like the concept, you can subscribe to this channel. You can also check the playlist for previous episodes. And you can watch my 10 Swedish words, which comes out every first and has a giveaway. It's really cool. And so I say thank you so much for watching. I will see you the next time you click on one of my videos. Bye.